The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Sirach. All wisdom comes from the Lord. She is with him forever. The sands of the sea, the drops of rain, the days of eternity, who can count them? The height of the sky, the breadth of the earth, the depth of the abyss, who can explore them? Wisdom was created before everything. Prudent understanding subsists from the remotest ages. For whom has the root of wisdom ever been uncovered? Her resourceful ways. Who knows them? One only is wise, terrible indeed, seated on his throne, the Lord. It was he who created, inspected, and weighed her up and then poured her out on all his works, as much to each living creature as he chose, bestowing her on those who love him. And our response is taken from Psalm 93. Yahweh is king, robed in majesty, robed as Yahweh, and girded with power. The world is indeed set firm. It can never be shaken. Your throne is set firm from of old. From all eternity you exist. Your decrees stand firm, unshakable. Holiness is the beauty of your house, Yahweh, for all time to come. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. As they were rejoining the disciples, they saw a large crowd round them and some scribes arguing with them. At once, when they saw him, the whole crowd were struck with amazement and ran to greet him. And Jesus asked them, What are you arguing about with them? A man answered him from the crowd, Master, I have brought my son to you. There is a spirit of dumbness in him. And when it takes hold of him, it throws him to the ground. And he foams at the mouth and grinds his teeth and goes rigid. And I ask your disciples to drive it out. And they were unable to. In reply, Jesus said to them, Faithless generation, how much longer must I be among you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him to me. They brought the boy to him, and at once the spirit of dumbness threw the boy into convulsions, and he fell to the ground and lay writhing there, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the father, How long has this been happening to him? From childhood, he said. And it has often thrown him into fire and into water in order to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. If you can, retorted Jesus, everything is possible for one who has faith. At once, the father of the boy cried out, I have faith. Help my lack of faith. And when Jesus saw that a crowd was gathering, he rebuked the unclean spirit. Deaf and dumb spirit, he said, I command you come out of him and never enter him again. Then it threw the boy into violent convulsions and came out shouting, and the boy lay there, so like a corpse, that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and helped him up. And he was able to stand. When he had gone indoors, his disciples asked him, when they were by themselves, Why were we unable to drive it out? Jesus answered, This is the kind 
that can be driven out only by prayer. The Gospel of the Lord.